Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Kate Collections and another figure unboxing video. This one's Attila or Altera, whichever you want to call it, from Good Smile Company. This is actually a figure I've been looking forward to for a very long time. It looks great. I, well, I could tell from the figure, I think there may be a QC issue on her weapon, but we'll see. So here's the front. Very simple. Uh, nothing too much. I do like the little designs all around the box. Here's the side, and this is actually really nice. It's more of an artwork kind of display. And here's the back where you have a lot of these promotional images. From what I could tell, it looks pretty accurate, uh, but, you know, promotional images are meant to look good. Again, not really too much going on except for all these images you probably saw online already. And here's the other side. The background's the same, but this is a promotional image of the figure. Other side was more of an artwork. Here's the top, and here's the bottom. Alright, let's get this opened up and check out how this figure looks. Alright, so before I show you the figure, I just want to say the interior of the box is absolutely amazing. You can actually have the figure, in, well, it depends on how long the sword is. I was thinking about putting the figure inside this case um, and just leaving it there because the background looks great. So here's the figure still in its package. It looks absolutely amazing. Good Smile Company is one of my favorite manufacturers. I I do see an issue, like I mentioned earlier, there may be a QC issue. Uh, in the package, you can already tell her sword, the handle, it's kind of slanted or you know warped. And I hope it's just the placement of the blade or no the sword. Um, I just but from my angle, I think it is at a it's bent. Hopefully it doesn't snap. So I guess I'm one of those unlucky few who had a uh, figure that has QC issue. But I, I don't know until I open this. And yeah, let's get this opened up and hope for the best. So always read the instructions first. They do have it in English. Um, but honestly, it's nothing too complex. <laughs> you know, just attach uh, the base, you know, stand her sword. Uh, of course, it's Japanese as well. But always, always look at the instructions just so you don't break anything. And here is the base. It does come in two parts. You do have to attach this gray part onto the translucent brown. Overall, it looks really nice. Um, you know, I love the shading on this portion, uh, especially on the top. You can tell right there. The detailing right there, you know, added bonus, makes the figure look uh, that much better. And I don't know, let me try to see if I can focus the camera. Do you see some white dots all around this portion of the base? I don't know if it's on purpose or not, but it looks decent. You know, if, it, if it's on purpose, then hey, that's great. Um, if it's not, then <laughs> then sloppy paint work. But again, Good Smile Company has done great with their sculpt work and paint work. So I say it's on purpose. Let me see. I, I don't know if you guys can tell. Maybe a bit. Some of these white painting all around. So good there. Overall, give a... Oh, thumbs up on the base. It, the translucent brown is a bit plain. Uh, that would be my only complaint. And here is her sword. Uh, it looks absolutely amazing. Again, it is warped a bit. Let me see if I could get a good angle. Uh, I did fix it, but when I mean warped, there you go. It's not completely straight. It's like tilted at an angle, right? The handle is made off or made out of a softer piece of plastic, meaning. Uh, other products may be warped as well, so just a heads up. Kind of wish it was more solid so it, it won't warp. Yes, you know, it's not going to... Having softer plastic means uh, it's a bit more durable. It's not going to easily snap uh, compared to a more solid plas piece of plastic. But again, you're going to have warping issue. I kind of fixed it with um, a blow dryer, right? You apply heat to it and um, basically slowly tilt it to um, an angle to make it straight again. But uh, you can't you can't be perfect. But it was a lot worse than what it is you see on camera. I don't try it unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, right? You don't want to like accidentally damage your item. Uh, I've been collecting figures for a long time, so I know how to kind of fix these. But if you don't know, don't attempt it. Just I mean, you could try, but just <laughs> just be careful. But the detail on the sword looks great. The paintwork, holy crap! The rainbow blade, you know that's what I call it. Looks great. Looks absolutely beautiful. 
Uh, there's no paint bleed, surprisingly. So one thing I was scared is that, you know, maybe the blue bled onto pink, vice versa, you know, having four colors on the blade. Um, so far, from what I could tell, uh, there's no paint bleeds whatsoever, which is really good. Uh, detailing, well, first off, scope work on the handle. Amazing as well. You can see some details right there. Again, paint work looks great. Overall, we're really satisfied with this, except for the warped, or the QC issue, right? The warped handle. Again, softer piece of plastic, it's more durable. Of course, you don't want to snap or anything, but other products may have similar issues. Just saying. So, here is the figure with everything put together, and <laughs> oh my god. Good Smile Company did it again. Phenomenal sculpt work and paint job. No issues with paint. I couldn't find any at least. No paint splashes, bleeds, especially when there's so many details or paint work all around the figure. Highly recommend this one. And uh, let's talk about uh, the paint work first then. Uh, for starters, like I said, the paint work on her clothing or lack of clothing to be more specific. Uh, it looks great, right? First, the sculpt work is uh, really detailed, the, how it folds, the wrinkles, you know, the curves, uh, and I don't know, I'm just really impressed with all the sculpt work, the detailing on this figure in general. For the paint work, like I said, there's no issue. I really like the metallic silver piece right there, and you could kind of see a hint of purple shading on the ends right there. And right, this piece is a softer uh, plastic, so a bit more durable. You don't have to be worried about snapping it. Uh, of course, don't bend there or anything. You will break it. And these parts are a bit more solid. They're not soft plastic, so be careful. And also, the paintwork for... Or the paintwork of the white lines on her skin, really detailed. Right? There's no issue. That's one of my biggest concerns. You know, a bit of paint bleed, but there were none. As far as I can tell. And speaking about uh, paint work, love the different tones of coloring on her skin, right? You see some lighter tones there, you know, darker tones you know, towards the upper body, and that just adds a lot more detail to the figure instead of just having a salt color. It will look a bit plain if they did that. Not, not that there's anything wrong with it, but having different tones of color just makes this figure pop even more. Oh, also, I'm very happy that her veil had no scratches whatsoever because it's a plain uh, white piece. My biggest fear was that there would be scratches or marks on it. There were none, really happy. Uh, the end piece right there are all painted. They're not sculpted, but nonetheless, still looks great. And speaking of sculpt work, I'm gonna try to not poke the camera with her sword. Love the wrinkles on this part of the veil. And of course, you know, the, the, um, the coloring, you know, the paint work right there. Uh, there's really no issue. Uh, I guess if there were something I would, I guess, nitpick about is that her face looks a bit weird. I don't know, is it just me? You can comment down below to let me know, but... I don't know. Maybe it is just me. To me, I, I, can put, I can't put it into words, it just looks a bit off, in my opinion. But the paint work for her eyes looks great. One of the best part or best thing about this figure. The red just pops. Very detailed. Uh, also, sculpted hairs. I love that. You, know, you see individual strands of hair. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention about the, the veil. The lower portion have sculpted folds as well. Right, so that just adds more detail. I love that they didn't ignore it just because it's on the bottom, less noticeable. Uh, they they actually took the time to sculpt it because, of course, you can see parts of it right there. It would have looked awful if they forgot about it. Uh, what else to talk about? Uh, sculpt work, paint work, everything's great. I already talked about the tone of the skin. Yeah, not really anything else to mention. Uh, this figure is tall, so if you do plan on picking this up, it's probably going to have to be on top of your shelf. Not in the center or bottom or anything. Unless you have a wide gap, wide gaps, I meant, uh, for your shelf. 
then the Escher will fit. But it's going to look great with your collection if you collect Faith figures or anime figures in general. If you're a collector, highly recommend this one. Uh, I guess uh, one more thing. I, I don't want to say complain about it. Again, I'm nitpicking a bit. Uh, I do wish they... I, and I mentioned this earlier. I, I do wish that they didn't use a translucent brown for the base. Kind of, they should have matched the coloring with this por this portion and have a white slash gray with sh black shading uh, all around and instead of just having two pieces. Because Good Smile Company, if you collect their figures, especially their Fate figures, they have very detailed base. Right, if you collect the um, I forgot which one, the Saber ones, right? The Saber Altar, Saber Lily, even the uh, original Saber, the one that's uh, in the air. Their base have a lot of detail. So to me, this is this is a bit lazy. I don't want to sound harsh, you know, but just expressing my opinion. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more FGO content. I'll, I will do more unboxing if that's what you guys want. And stay tuned till the end of the video. I'll have a few pictures so you can see this figure in more detail. Special thanks to my patrons, Darkcry, Junior League, Merlanda, Rakune, Rosie, Ryaz, Pantheon, and Nathan Dark. Thank you so much for supporting me, and if you want to support my channel, check out my Patreon, join my Discord server, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to see my collection, and have an awesome day everyone. Till next time.